Hey people, this is probably my first video blog, official blog video thing ever. Um, the first podcast I ever did, I was pretty drunk on wine and um, champagne, and it was New Year's Eve, and now it's about a year and 20, 20 or 21 days later, and I decided I want to start doing a video blog, because um, the podcast outlet, the journaling aspect of the podcast has kind of left my life, so I want to come back and do a little bit of this. Um, I'm really excited about what I've been seeing and doing in the last few weeks since the year has turned over. Um, Servo Systems is getting a lot of jobs. I'm meeting a lot of people who are really interested in podcasting. It's like the time, the, the fruit is ripe for the picking here in town. And I'm really excited about all these kinds of opportunities, things that are going on. Um, I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff with Darren and Jamie and the guys from Potentials, and I have to say that they have a really compelling product. I just did some interviews with Alex and Gavin from Immerse, and Mark Baratelli, who is an amazingly talented person, and I hope to work with him soon in the future. This week, hopefully, we're going to be launching the Orlando Scene TV. I've been checking out theme songs for the show, and I hope that we're going to find something that we, I always use this word we, but it's really more, a little more like me, because I'm the quote-unquote executive producer, and I do a lot of the decision-making, and a lot of the editing, and a lot of the work, and a lot of the website development, and spell-checking, and everything right now. Hopefully that will change. Um, but I have to say that the coming year is going to be very, very exciting. And you will see a lot of stuff coming out of Liberator. We have 15 shows right now. And if you don't count the Orlando scene, which was created after the first of the year, we had 14 at the end of the year, um, that had been created. So my goal for the end of the year was to have a dozen shows on Liberator, and we beat it. And the student of the game right now is our most successful podcast. It's a pro football show. It's got over 100 subscribers. And Kyle's doing a great job. Kyle and Steven and Drew, they're just, they're just great guys and they're passionate about what they do. And that's what, to me, that's what podcasting is about, is you, you have some passion and you want to share it with somebody. So that's, that's the idea behind Liberator is these local people are sharing their passion with their peers. So, you know, these guys, they're all somewhere between 23, 24, and 27 or 28, and they're going right after that audience, they're going right after the pro football audience, and they're just doing it, and they're so consistent. Every week, they got a new show coming out, they got stats coming in every week, they got news coming in every week, they've watched all the games, they're comment commenting on the gossip, as well as the game results like you would expect. Um, they're doing stuff about the draft coming up. They're doing stuff about the Super Bowl, obviously, the big game. I love, I love being around town and just seeing places that are like, oh, yeah, get your catering for the quote-unquote big game here. Um, cool stuff. And hopefully we're going to start doing some crap face again soon because I really enjoyed doing that. I have a bunch of people, local musicians and local event organizers, like the guys from Grandma Party, that want to be participating in Crap Face. So I want to be able to give that to them. Um, if you're watching this and you're wondering, why the fuck is this guy posting video on his site? It's just because it's something, it was a New Year's resolution, I decided I wanted to start doing video blogs. At least once a week would be nice, I think. Um, also, Florida Creatives, if you have been to one of the first two events, and I don't need to say anything to you about it already, but it's this great event. First event, we had eight people show up, and that was just whoever I could basically call and get to show up. Second event, we had over 40 people show up. Over 35 people signed up on the email list, and I'm sure there were plenty of people there who didn't actually put their names on the list because it was on my computer, and not everyone knew it was there. Um... So, Florida Creators is going to be awesome. Next month, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, at the Enzian Theater, is the next 
short film slam. And then, immediately following that, somewhere between 3 and 4, I think I put 3.30 on the upcoming site, upcoming.org, search for Florida Creatives, and you can go there and RSVP for the event. But somewhere between 3.30 and 4, we're going to be going to the Copper Rocket Pub, which is in Maitland. It's right on 1792. It's just after the railroad tracks and the Enzian Theater on the left-hand side of the street. And you'll see the sign, Copper Rocket Pub. There's also like a sub shop, I want to say, is right there. Um, it's at a light. If you stop at the light, you you look to your left, and there it is, Copper Rocket. It's, you really can't miss it. And if you do miss it, if you get up to like um, Maitland Boulevard, turn around and come back to the Copper Rocket. It's a great place. It's this old little like dive kind of a place. A lot of locals show up there, but it's a neat place. They have pool tables and some food and pretty good selection of beers from what I can remember. I've only been there one time. Um, it was a neat place. I went there and played a show with Mark for a holiday help out, which we also did on Liberator. It's a really short thing with the people that organized it because it was for the Central Florida Center for Families, something along those lines. We were giving toys to the families, and everyone that came there, we were giving five bucks so that we could buy toys for the family. It was really cool. All right, so now that I have completely blabbed everything right off the top of my head, I'm going to call this a duck, and I will probably see you next week.